Animal Crossing New Horizons is the first Animal Crossing title to grace the now three-year-old Nintendo Switch console. In fact, it's the first new mainline title since the Nintendo 3DS exclusive Animal Crossing New Leaf, which was released over eight years ago. There have been many side games such as the mobile-based Pocket Camp, Happy Home Designer, or the failed Mario Party clone Amiibo Festival, but dedicated fans have been clamoring uncontrollably for a new game for quite some time. They finally got their wish on September 13, 2018, when Nintendo unveiled the first footage at their Nintendo Direct conference. Animal Crossing released on March 20, 2020 in the United States. The fanfare for the title has become such a fever pitch that even non-hardcore fans have taken notice of the game, and fallen in love with the life simulator. Before we jump into what the game does right and wrong, let me first cover the basics for the non-initiated folks of the world. You take on the role of a human character that journeys to a deserted fictional island in order to build up the island of their dreams. You will slowly invite villagers to join your homeland, all of which have varying personalities, likes and dislikes, as well as character traits. You pass the time on your island by fishing, collecting shells, harvesting fruit, interacting with your villagers, collecting bugs and fossils, planting trees and flowers, among many other things. You don't have to do these things alone either, as you can invite up to seven others to join you on your island through either a local or online component. A big goal of the game is to raise your house and island's rankings. Paying off your loan by selling items will allow you to request a bigger house, slowly turning your one-bedroom place into a sprawling six-room mansion, which includes a basement and an attic. Now that we've covered the basics, let's jump right into what the game does right. The Nintendo Switch is not known to be a graphical powerhouse. However, it has been capable of creating some impressive visuals with the likes of Breath of the Wild, Pokemon Sword and Shield, or Xenoblade Chronicles 2. You can now add New Horizons to the list as it is the best looking game in the series hands down. The colors are crisp, bright, and vivid. Animations are smooth and the art direction fits the game perfectly. The game is dripping in character and does well to push the series forward. New Horizons has also pushed the series to new heights with the addition of some brand new and welcome features to the now 19 year old series. The first new feature and the most impactful is the addition of terraforming. This tool allows unrivaled levels of creativity and customization that has never been seen before in the series. This ability allows you to raise and lower the landscape, add or remove water, create waterfalls or cliffs, and much more. Your island is now your playground and you can fully decide where to place villagers homes, shops, bridges, and inclines. This ensures that almost no two islands will be the same. Animal Crossing New Horizons has only been out for less than two months, but Nintendo is not resting on its laurels. They are already adding a steady stream of new content to the game in the form of mini updates. Real world events such as Easter, Bunny Day inside the game, and Earth Day have both been popular additions so far. Nintendo has also added in more series regulars such as Red the Art Dealer, Leaf the Sloth who runs the Garden Shop, Flick the Bug Enthusiast, and CJ the Fishing Celebrity Extraordinaire. The museum has undergone renovations as well, adding a new art wing allowing you to display one-of-a-kind works of art. Data miners have worked around the clock to find that Nintendo is not stopping with those additions either. There is a ton of new content right around the corner. I applaud Nintendo for providing free content at such a blistering pace when the rest of the industry has turned to paywalls and DLC content. I could speak to this con for hours. Many of the choices that Nintendo implemented into the game are head scratchers to say the least. Why can't I craft more than one item of the same type at a time? Why can't I craft and customize an item at the same time? Why can't I access my stored materials when crafting from inside my home? Why can't I just select how many of an item I'd like to purchase? Why does it take so many menu prompts to fly to an island? If you think I'm overreacting, let me show you unedited footage of how long it takes to fly to another island. <laughs> Just to get to the people who actually went down to the boat. 
Luckily for Nintendo, all of these are things that could be patched and fixed with future updates. Tool durability was one of the most divisive choices in Breath of the Wild. The decision for Nintendo to then add this feature to Animal Crossing was pretty baffling. Tools each come in multiple tiers, all of which will last slightly longer than the lower variant. Even the special golden versions of the tools, which require a lot of work to acquire, will still break with regular use. It doesn't matter if you're tech savvy or not, you know that things break, and companies count on that fact. Nintendo for some reason in the year 2020, decided that a game in which players will sink countless hours in, doesn't need a cloud save system. You heard that right, if your system breaks, you won't be able to recover all of your hard work you've poured into your island. Overall, Animal Crossing New Horizons is one of the most surprising games I've ever played. It's taken a game that honestly wasn't on my radar and has quickly become one of my most played games of all time. Clocking in at over 250 hours currently of gameplay with no signs of stopping, I can safely say that I've gotten my $60 worth. This is by no means a perfect game, however everything listed as a con can easily be remedied with a quick patch from Nintendo. I would like to thank my friends for pressuring me into purchasing the game. If it wasn't for the constant chatter, I may not be making this review video at all. During these unprecedented times with the current coronavirus pandemic, I feel this game has become the perfect escape from reality and provides a much needed levity to the world around us. My overall score for Animal Crossing New Horizons is 90 out of 100. No matter if you're a dedicated fan of the series or a newcomer like me, I feel this is the perfect game to relax and allow time to just melt away. I hope that you enjoyed my review for Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're new to the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what you think about the game or the series in general. And until next time, guys, have a great day.